What is up guys? It is Night Timber here with another Minecraft video and in today's video we're actually going to be starting a pretty big project. I got my beacon stuff here. We're going to be doing a lot of mining but before we get into it I'm going to set up this little base camp and please don't forget to like and subscribe so I know you guys are enjoying my videos and to keep making more of them for you guys. But anyways let's hop straight into this. Because I was in such a hurry to get here, I actually didn't bring any, like, cooked food. Well, I brought one snack, but I brought a whole bunch of raw fish in my smoker, so I shouldn't starve. Okay, time to make the plan. This is the mountain that I'm actually, I'm thinking about turning it into a, like, volcano. And to start, I'm going to actually have to get my beacon down, so... Instead of having the beacon just kind of float in the middle of the air and not being able to actually retrieve it at the end or have to fill it in with lava because this is going to be a volcano, I'm going to mine all the way down to bedrock and actually start building the beacon there. And that should, if I'm right, be able to give me the haste bonus still while I'm up top. Oh, that's going to be a problem in a sec. When I got a... Oh, this is a big water aquifer cave thing. That's going to take a lot of time to get rid of without having any sponges. I might have to go get a sponge somewhere, somehow. Ooh, a cave. Ow. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have, like, dropped down like that when I got a water bucket, but there's a mine shaft. That's cool. I might have to leave that. We finally got to bedrock, and luckily, I didn't find any lava pools yet, so... I'm probably going to find one now since I said that, but now i got to build a beacon. Okay, one more piece. Beacon is almost done, and I messed that up, of course. Get the beacon, place the beacon, and now we got a beautiful ray of light. Oh, I don't have anything to actually do with the beacon, the, the ingots. I need the ingots. There should be some in the mine shaft, though. I should have came up with a better method than using the water bucket for getting out of here and to get the stuff I need. Wait, I have emeralds. I can use those. Okay, I got the beacon all set up, so now I should be able to mine whatever I want. Or, yeah, I should mine faster now, so I'm gonna start mining. And hopefully this isn't gonna be too long since I've got Instamine and, yeah, and hopefully I don't fall in this hole randomly, because that's going to be a quick road to death. Okay, I flattened out the top of the mountain a little bit. And yeah, I'm... Yeah, I got to do... I got a lot of mining still ahead of me. But at least I flattened it out, so that's, that's progress. And I also had some problems with my beacon. For some reason, it wasn't insta-mining, but I also got that fixed. So now I got to go back to work. I'm now comprehending how long this is going to take with all this area to mine out all the way down to the deep slate, but we're getting there. Okay, I mined, and everything is working good so far. I ended up getting the outline in, so progress. Well, my inventory is full because that's a lot of stone, and I'm going to have to go all the way down to bedrock. So I'm going to build a really big, like, storage area for all this stuff because I don't want to, like, just let it despawn because I, I like having resources. But anyways, that's done. I also did a little bit of math. It's going to be over 100,000 stone, I think. Or at least what I'm mining is going to be over 100,000 stone. So yeah, lots of stuff to mine. Okay, um, my pickaxe is almost broken, and the stuff isn't working enough, the ores, but I got a lot of XP from that. I have a lot of stored XP in these furnaces, so that worked out. Now I gotta go head all the way back home, and I should make an auto smelter there too for XP. Okay, I got a great idea, and I got elytra and shulker shells because that's a lot of moving of resources, so... Now we're going to be able to do that faster and move more resources down off the mountain for storage. So that's cool. Look at all these shulker shells. Okay, I got them filled. Everything that I got is now in the shulker shells. Got more progress going on. Back to mining this down to bedrock. The deep slate's going to take a long time. 
Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is this might be interesting. The fact that I kind of am basing out of a village. Well, I'm gonna quick go sleep so I don't get attacked by those annoying little phantoms, and then I'm gonna start the raid because I might as well just get this over with. Okay, I should be pretty good. Well, actually, I don't have a lot of armor at all, but I'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happens to me. Never have died in my life in this game. This dude just killed the villager that was trapped there. That guy, like, he's so mean. Dude, but he left us some good stuff. More XP, that's good. Where are these guys? These guys are hiding and I do not like it. They're over here. Iron Golem's gonna help us. Okay, that's, that's special. Let round two begin. Round three. This iron golem is really helping us out and wrecking these guys in this battle thing, the raid. How do we heal them? Like, I kind of want to heal them. I think I need iron ingots or something. Maybe I can give him a rose. I should do that. Heal him for his great service to our village. We're not gonna talk about that one. I had really bad aim there. We're just gonna forget about that. But anyways, round four. Well, that wasn't too hard and we got the victory. Unfortunately, I may have died, but we're just gonna not look at the XP bar. Yeah, we're gonna forget about it. This little dude stole my bed. Ooh, I wonder what this guy has to trade. Uh-oh. Whoops, um. <laughs> Nothing happened. The kid didn't see. Well, um, I just got karma for what happened to the baby villager's papa villager. Um, I was AFK in this house, and, um, I was AFK for a while, and I was just, like, literally right next to my desk watching, and somehow I didn't manage to see the fact that I got killed by a zombie somehow, that I think a villager left in, so... I'm gonna have to get all my stuff back. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. That helps me out. As well as comment down below. And I'm gonna get the fast track back home. So see you in the next one.